All right, guys, it's finally the weekend. Uh, we got a pretty big day ahead of us, so uh, let's roll that intro and see you in a bit. So I know it's been a while since we posted anything. Uh, we haven't really done anything car related since we got the Sylvia running again. Um, we've just been really busy with work and uh, I've actually been doing a lot of work on my house lately. So uh, got a new front door installed. I've also been working on the deck. So I ended up having to replace a bunch of boards on there. Uh, it's been about three weeks in the making for that. So basically all my spare time, if I'm not working, I've been working on that at home. So uh, Proud to say that uh, it's just about done and we can get back to work on uh, doing car stuff, but uh, we are going to be going to a drift meet later, so uh, we'll see lots of drift cars. Uh, we're going to meet up with Tim later and uh, do some of that. But first order of business before uh, doing anything car related in the garage is to get it cleaned up because this past month or so has just made a huge mess on my workbench, on the floor, just everywhere. We actually had to back out the Furious Civic. It's parked in the backyard right now so I could make room for my new boards and stuff back here. So I gotta get that cleaned out so we can get the Furious Civic back in here. I do have the Supra on the driveway right now because I put the Furious Civic where the Supra used to be. So I kind of have some ideas on stuff I want to do with the Supra yet before I move it back to the backyard. So here's the Supra just sitting on the driveway right now. Uh, the project that we had started before we parked it in the backyard was the exhaust. So as you can see right now, coming right off the turbo, there is nothing here. So um, the plan was to make a side exit so that it came out of the fender right about here. So basically, I think what we're going to end up having to do is run the pipe through the firewall into the cabin. And then we're going to have to put a 90 on it and then just have it come right out here. So that was kind of the plan before we parked it. And it's kind of just been sitting like this with nothing coming off of the turbo. So it's very loud when... <laughs> We're trying to move it, which isn't a bad thing, but all the exhaust fumes are going right through the firewall into the cab every time I want to move it. So I did get started making a flange. So this is the uh, the gasket off of the factory downpipe. Um, and then I just kind of got some steel plate and I traced it around, cut it out. And that's kind of where it ended off. So I would really like to get that finished before moving the Super back into the backyard. So hopefully we can get that done in the next little while. I'd really like to get the exhaust done on the Supra. Like I said before, uh, I haven't really had a lot of time for car stuff because I'm either working or I'm doing stuff at home. Um, I do have some exciting news though. Um, most people don't know that uh, I, for the past two and a half years I've been working two jobs. Uh, basically to pay for car parts and just to kind of support the family and everything at the same time. At this point right now, I've realized that I have all these car parts that I've bought because of my job, but I have no time to install them or even race the car because I'm always working. So um, my last day was uh, last week Sunday, so I'm officially down to one job now which is gonna free up a lot more of my time. So I'll be able to get a lot more stuff done on the projects. I'll be able to get a lot more content for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys are too. So now that I'm gonna have more time on my hands for projects, we might actually be able to get some work done on this prelude that we have sitting in the backyard. It's just been sitting here for a while. That's the motor that I wanna boost and put into Frankenstein. We also got the Furious Civic back here. And this is an old Acura EL that we do have plans for. Believe it or not, this thing does run and drive. All right, so this is kind of where I left off with Frankenstein, right? So I got the rear trailing arms on. Everything is basically together. I just need to install the wheel hub and bearing. And then I also have the steel braided brake lines, which will go up here. 
I do have the old brake calipers and everything, um, but they're, they're used, so they're a little bit dirty still. So that's something I'm going to be cleaning up yet, but first things first, I want to get this side dealt with. Um, this is kind of where I'm at right now. I got everything disassembled for the most part. I still have to get the lower control arm off of there. And just like on the other side, the compensator is rusted right into the body, so chances are I'm going to have to cut that off and re-weld a new nut in there, just like I did on the driver's side. So I got a bit of work ahead of me yet, but uh, I'm excited that I'm going to have a lot more time to do stuff like that, and hopefully I can get this thing on the road within the next few weeks. And then I got the old Suzuki, which uh, my wife is daily driving now, and it needs some work done on the front end. It's clunking pretty bad, so I've got to get some time together for that. I have all the parts. I just need the time to install them. If you notice, the Jeep Liberty is gone. I actually ended up selling that to my grandma. And this is her old vehicle. So she was driving this rusted out Grand Cherokee. So it does not run anymore. I basically just made it to our place until it broke down. So it was perfect timing actually. So I gotta get some time together to park that thing out and uh, just send it off to the scrapper. So. Lots of stuff that I got to do in the next few weeks, so uh, I'm going to be really busy. Should be able to get a lot of content together for you guys, so I'm pretty excited about it. But first thing I got to do is get this garage cleaned up because it is a mess. And I can't stand looking at it like this anymore, so uh, we're going to get this cleaned up. And hopefully we can get some more projects done within the next little while. And I'll help you. You're going to help me? Yep. Good. So we're going to get as much of this cleaned up as we can before my ride gets here and then we're going to be heading out to the Gonzo Drift Demo. So look forward to that. Next time you see me, we'll be at the meet. So it's actually Tim's bachelor party today and uh, we went and signed him up for a ride along in a drift car. Yeah, I'm stoked. Finally got to go drifting again. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Yeah.
All right, so Tim's just getting lined up now and getting fitted for a helmet, and he's gonna go for a rip. So it should be a pretty good time. So we're done at the drift event and we were planning on going paintballing right after but uh, apparently there's a big paintball tournament going on right now so we're thinking go-karts so we're gonna see if we can hit up a go-kart track and uh, get some laps. here at the go-kart track now and we're gonna put in some laps yeah see what kind of times we can do see who's the quickest um, some of us haven't been here before some of us have so uh, whatever doesn't matter quickest is the quickest we're gonna have fun yeah. either way <laughs> Back in the garage. It's actually the next day right now because 
We ended up getting back pretty late last night and I didn't really have time to, to make a closer to this video. So uh, it was a pretty good day. Uh, we hit up the drift meet, it was pretty good. There was a, a lot of action there. It's always a good time when we head out there. Uh, Tim actually got a ride along in, uh, it was a 240SX, but it was swapped with a 1UZ uh, Toyota V8 motor. So that was pretty interesting to see. I've never seen a swap like that before on a 240SX. So uh, it was pretty good. The guy was pretty skilled. I think he did a, a lot of good runs. So it was pretty exciting. The plan after that was to go paintballing. But like I said, there was a tournament going on and uh, we are not professionals. So there was no way we were going to be doing that with a bunch of pros. Uh, so we figured we hit up the go-kart track instead. And uh, that was a really good time. We had a lot of good lap times in there, but uh, Tim ended up taking the top uh, the top lap time for the day and uh, I think overall like for the entire day out of everyone that raced that day he was in second place so that was pretty cool to see my times weren't as good as everyone else's but uh, it's because of the carts not because of my driving skills um, so after that we hit up uh, the great Canadian brewery so uh, had some drinks had some good food and then uh, got to drive in a crazy storm on the way back. So there's like zero visibility all the way home. Uh, crazy rain, hit some hail. Um, there was some construction going on on the highway and uh, the wind was so strong, it was like blowing the pylons and the signs and everything over like into the highway. So we were constantly avoiding signs and pylons. Oh, it was crazy, but uh, it was a good time, definitely. So uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up as always. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, I'm excited to be putting out a lot more content uh, going forward. So we'll see you on the next one.